Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you how to get Froyo Android 2.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S Captivate by AT&T. I just read, I don't still have it pulled up, but I just read that it was released either today or yesterday for Canada users of the Samsung Captivate. So if you're in Canada, <laughs> now you won't need this video. But for those of you that are still in the United States and have AT&T, the crappy, unfaithful network, except with their lovely baby, the iPhone, this is how to get your Froyo Android 2.2 on the Captivate. So I'll leave a link in the description, and it'll take you to this website. It's an addictivetips.com. And you just want to scroll down a little bit, and you'll see this picture of your phone. And on this, there's a little list on the left-hand side that gives us just a bunch of things that change. Uh, just a few of them. Colored icons and settings, GPS fix, which don't be too hopeful on if you have one of those bad GPSs. Because it hasn't really been noticeably different for me. So, you know, if it does work, great, but don't get your hopes up. And new keyboard, Android search widget, uh, darker menu theme... Uh, just a bunch of, you know, interesting things that it will make different. And then you're going to scroll down a little bit, just past this blue bar. This can only be done on Windows. It'll tell you that right there. And then you're going to want to download the Samsung drivers. And you'll get a little download box. Just open, click OK, and find the setup. I'll go ahead and do that. And then you're going to want the USB drivers. If you have a 32-bit, you can click there. If you have a 64-bit and Firefox just froze, look at that. No, I didn't. And then you're going to want to click on that. If you have 64-bit, you know, download comes, go away, and just open. And there you go. I'll download the file. You can open it. And for the USB drivers, you just come in here, open up the RAR file, and click setup.exe. You need WinRAR for this. Here's your USB drivers. just want to open that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and find setup.exe and just double click and run that. That's for the drivers, obviously. And then we'll let that download finish. And then you're going to want to click on the step two. It says now download Android 2.2 for your official build. And it says from here. Click there and it'll take you to this multi upload link, which I already have here. And you just want to click Rapid Share. They may have a direct download. They may not. If they don't, just click the download file. It'll take you to a new place, which is, well, mine is Rapid Share AG Cham Switzerland, something like that. And then you just want to wait, click Slow Download. Sorry, camera died. And, uh,. Click and wait for the time limit to go up. This one's 150 seconds, so it could be a while. But uh, once I finish, you just download that and save it to your desktop. Or, yeah, just save the file to your desktop. And then once you have the drivers and the Samsung, the Samsung drivers and the USB drivers for the Captivate, you should be fine. And then you just got to download this file. And I'll probably leave a direct link to this in the description. Download this, and then you're done with the internet. Whenever you download the file, it will have a really weird name. It'll be called. Let's see, I gotta find it. Okay, it'll be called i897ucji6ocd. Well, the last part will be low design gears one. Parentheses one. You want to right click and click run as administrator. UAC may pop up. If it does, just click yes or OK. There, see, there's UAC. And then there you go. Now you have your Odin. Now we go back to the phone. So what you're going to want to do is hold down the power button and power it off. Then get your USB cable, which is over here. Plug it in. Make sure it is plugged into the computer, but not into your phone. And then, let's see if I can get a good camera angle on this. 
and then get your phone just turned off and you just want to hold don't hold the power button but hold the volume up and the volume down keys at the same time plug it in and keep holding down those two keys and then eventually you'll get this it's just a little android dude digging inside of a warning triangle thing it says downloading do not turn off target and my camera's about to die so uh... one second All right. Camera didn't die, I just stopped recording because it's stupid. But, uh, here's, uh, the screen that'll come up. It says, do not turn off target. And then you go into Odin, back on your computer, and you'll see it says, COM4. Well, usually it may say something different. That's all I've ever gotten, though. And it'll say, add it right there. Once you have those, this you have to have your drivers installed, and that'll pop up. Make sure it's still in download mode. And then you click, start download or just start. It says do not turn off target. It'll start doing some stuff and a blue target progress bar will show up on your phone. And then you just gotta wait for that install. So I'll be back whenever that's done. Alright, I'm back and it has finished uh, installing. Odin says pass. Everything was completed successfully. And whenever, you fir whenever it first boots up, you'll get this little Samsung tutorial startup thing. If you click on that, I mean, you can test out the keyboard and it just has, you know, mess with all your settings and stuff. Just click next, 3G or Wi-Fi, both, uh, disagree for now, next. And I'm just speeding through this, but you can set all that the way you want. And then, hopefully, here is your, it'll probably take a second to get active. Here is your freshly new booted Samsung Captivate on AT&T with uh, Froyo Android 2.2. So we'll go over to settings and as you can see I mean colored icons and settings is like the number one sign for Froyo and go to about phone and you're not going to be able to read this because of this really crappy camera but firmware version it is 2.2 Scroll all the way down, and the build number is Froyo UCJI6. I know you can't see that, but you'll have to trust me on this one. It does work, and you now have a Froyo phone if you followed all my directions exactly and you use the drivers, which is the only part that you could probably be confused about because I was kind of all over the place with the video. But if you followed my video and you got all your drivers installed and everything, which I'll leave, and you can always just that website that I just left the link to, you can just follow the instructions on it and uh, you can all and you can also do it through there too so I'll leave the links in the description uh, please comment rate and subscribe because I'll be showing you how to root Froyo and just a whole bunch of really cool stuff on the uh, Samsung Captivate so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later